Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. Heard a lot. You know what I'm talking about? I heard a whole lot. Um, I blame myself for not being mentally prepared for a letdown. And for just automatically mentally putting myself in that position like somebody told me that was my position. So I blame myself for that. But I thought that was nothing, you know, I thought that was nothing better than that that, that spot and that stage and that platform in my city. And um, so it hurt. I hurt a whole lot. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, man, listen, man, guys, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Um, Lil Wayne uh, finally speaks out. And Lil Wayne, um, you know, very, very apologetic and very, very, uh, you could tell that this hurt him a lot. Um, he blames himself, you know, as he says. And, you know, he's, he's understanding that some things that he maybe should have been more accountable for in the past. Um, I'm just, uh, uh, you know, me, I'm not really, I don't buy none of that. You know, let's just be real. For me, I feel like, um, you know, where he's located and who he is has a lot to do to why he was not chosen. Uh, I'm not going to sit up here and try to sugarcoat it. I know all y'all always, this boss talk, this ECO, this way I feel. So if you don't like it, you know what I'm saying, uh, then get in the comments and say it. But this man is pretty much demographically set in a location where hip hop didn't derive from the South. OK, we already know that. And it's been a history of things that cause people to look at things a certain way. And I just don't believe that when it comes down to Jay Z and any of those guys uh, that they really have the best interest at heart for uh, cash money, uh, the legacy of Lil Wayne and just the whole ordeal. That's the way I feel. And I have a right to my feelings to feel how I feel about it. Being that I watched the history unfold, respect to all those guys up there. I love, uh, like I said, from LL uh, to all those guys, man, uh, cool hurt, uh, ice tea for show out of New Jersey, whether people know that or not. But these guys, we all know hip hop started up on that side, man. But I just feel like a lot of times I don't see what Lil Wayne done. I think he's just demographically in a place where in history he could go down as the GOAT, as the greatest of all times. And I don't think that Jay don't know this. I think everybody knows this. I'm not trying to say he'll get it, but any just any snippet of the fact that that could happen causes there to be a conversation. And I don't think that a lot of people definitely uh, up top want to hear that conversation. Now, I know y'all can say, oh, you just tripping, you old school, school, they care about each other, he paid his taxes, and, uh, and I get it, you know, and everybody can say what they want to say, but at the end of the day, I just, I'm just telling you, the music has never been depicted in the way it should be, uh, according to me, you know, when it comes down to the way that it's looked at in the South, the way that the music, uh, people look at it and say, oh, man, you know, this is top five, but this is, it's not a fair, even playing field. That's why, you know, you have to unify for the cities that you're from and support the artists that's from your cities. Um, I, I see a lot of people speaking out from D1 to a lot of people. I've seen a lot of people that stood up for uh, Wayne, Nikki, of course, and all of those people that are under, you know, young money for sure going to speak up. But again, I don't think it has nothing to do with his talent or what he's done. I think it has to do with his demographic more than anything. And y'all can sit back and, like I said, y'all can say, hey, man, you know, Lil Wayne, you know, he did do drugs. Well, who didn't do certain things in hip hop? Uh, Lil Wayne went to prison. Uh, man, come on, man. Stop it, bro. Like I said, I don't see what I don't see those things as being the clauses for what has unfolded on why Lil Wayne didn't perform at the Super Bowl. So you guys can. Uh, you, you know, go on with that. I don't see that. Like I said, uh, I think that there's a stronghold on it. Leo Cohen, all these different people, uh, all the different Jimmy Iveens, everybody, uh, all these guys, man, they're in these same rooms together, bro. Who else was there in the room with Jay-Z? Uh, it doesn't matter to me because if Jay-Z wanted to speak out about it, he could. If it was something that he wanted to say about why Lil Wayne didn't, you know, didn't get to perform, you're not going to hear that. And if you do, it, it, it's going to surprise me. Um, and like I said, will they let him perform? I think it's a good chance that, um, you know, 
He could come out uh, with all this transfer transpiring. He could come out and end up performing at the Super Bowl. Just try to keep keep the peace down there because I don't know if they even going to uh, 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 respect them coming down and doing it, this whole Super Bowl event there and not acknowledging the Louisiana artists like they did when they was in these other places, uh, with, when they was in L.A., uh, if they was wherever they was at or if they was, they respected the, the people and the places that they were at when they were doing a lot of these events. Not all of them, but a lot of them. So I'm like I said, I don't have a problem. Uh, uh, speaking my piece, you know, I think that's why God blessed me with a platform. But uh, when it come down to not just Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne spoke on that and he, he, he felt like he wanted to do that. There's nothing wrong with that. You tell me in the comments, is there something wrong for aspiring to do something that you would like to do? Uh, uh, and, and basically, should you be penalized for that? And should you feel bad for that? I don't think so. Like I said, Lil Wayne is uh, uh, one of the coldest dudes to do what he does in his, in his uh, time. Um, you can't take that away from him. You know, uh, Birdman and them was, uh, had a right, every right to be upset. If you're coming into that city, we just went down and dedicated a, 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 a street to the William brothers and, uh, Essence Festival was dope. You know, like these guys, uh, these guys are family. Juvenile was right for speaking out. And I think everybody should have a right to say whatever they want to say about certain, certain things that come and happens in their city. So I don't see a problem with, with them speaking out and saying, hey, they don't appreciate them for not recognizing people in their cities. And I just feel like even in Texas, even in Atlanta, all these different places, uh, you look at Alabama, Mississippi, uh, all of the different demographics that you look at, from Arkansas to Oklahoma. Um, uh, like I said, these are all places down here, uh, South Carolina and North Carolina, whatever you want to say, you, you can say what you want to say, man, but these is places where, you know, we, we value our artists. We respect what our artists have created for us. We enjoyed their music. And if you guys didn't understand it, I apologize. Or if you did and you wanted to ignore it, I apologize. But at the end of the day, we're not going to be, uh, we're going to tell our truth. And a lot of the people from up that way, shout out to Snoop and all those guys, man, have supported us the whole way. Um, like I said, don't get it twisted. I know Jay came down and did uh, uh, this or that with the artists, but I can say this. There is a way that they have this thing lined out and that's what they want to see it happen as. That's how they want to see it unfold. I don't care what nobody says, you know, uh, but at the end of the day, I, like I said, I know y'all think probably I'm hard on, but I just speak uh, the truth of how I feel about the perspective of how people are being looked at. So uh, get in the comments, man. Let me know, man. Do you feel like uh, Lil Wayne was supposed to apologize for wanting to be on the Super Bowl? Give me an understanding of what happened. Uh, to to cause them to not recognize him in the Super Bowl. Do you feel like he's not good enough to perform in the Super Bowl? Do you feel like Birdman, Cash Money, or Master P, uh, or any of those guys, the Ghetto Boys, any of them, do you feel like they're uh, good enough to perform in these venues when they uh, are called into town? There's a lot of times when they did shows and did things uh, uh, from a different perspective and a different demographic that they ignored a lot of these guys. And I think it's high time that somebody say something. I really do. And, um, you know, you really need to have a heart to heart and take a look in the mirror, man. We all the same. Uh, we look the same. Uh, we all have a history. We all been through a lot. Our people have. We need to unify a lot better and respect each other and for who we are and what we've done on a more even playing field, man. Let us know, man. Boss Talk 101. I didn't mean to go in a little bit, but this morning that kind of tripped me out because I can't believe that Wayne is really... Uh, apologizing for something that I don't understand what he's apologizing for. I, I get it, but I don't, I don't think that he has no reason to apologize. I think he has a reason to, to, to feel that hurt because he, he definitely uh, is qualified to uh, perform in the Super Bowl. Let me know what you think. Is Wayne qualified to perform in the Super Bowl? Is, is the cash money, uh, ghetto boys, um, uh, uh, Master P and them, are these guys, uh, uh, should they ever perform at a Super Bowl? Uh, is there demographic a thing that becomes a, a situation? Uh, let us know, man. Big boy, I cast uh, Goody Mob, all these people down here, man. One love, man. Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talking. It's been a Boss Talk 101 review. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see.